Okay, new builds. I've been a, not a great fan of new build sector uh, all the way through help to buy. Uh, and although I did obviously do write some help to buy cases and shared ownership cases and new build cases, um, we've never been huge on it. And there have been brokers that have made millions and made so much money out of this sector. Okay, specialist brokers that tied up with the developers. Um, I've been a bit pessimistic over the whole help to buy thing and now it's over I think it's going to be a huge problem for the sector let me tell you about my theory around new builds we needed new housing the government came out with help to buy uh, and help to buy helped many hundreds of thousands of people purchase properties my problem with help to buy was um, that you had a lot of people that essentially could not buy properties at very low rates on day one. On day one, they couldn't purchase that property outright. Hence, the government had to put some skin in the game and give them a loan. Now, the loan of 20% outside of London is not the end of the world. But I think the 40% London ones, 40%, which means you need a 55% loan to value mortgage. All right. The interest rates are 1%, you could probably buy that. Interest rates are 4 or 5%, there's a little bit of a problem. Oh, down valuation is going to happen. Property price is not going to go up. Oh, that's going to be a bigger problem. Guess what? I think that's where we are. Help to buy is now finished. Why is help to buy finished, I wonder? Help to buy is finished. All of these developments are popping up everywhere. Who's going to come and buy them? Apart from Chinese investors and overseas investors, Who's going to come and buy these flats? It's all great in Canary Wharf, but who's going to buy it in outer London, outer Ring Road, London, M25? Who's going to go and pay a £500,000 for a two-bedroom flat in, cent you know, not even central London. It's like 40 minutes train ride from London. So there is a problem. The problem is we have been addicted to cheap money and we are now as a new build sector as in the new build sector is addicted to help to buy and we have seen new schemes come up in regards to um, affordable housing schemes you know 50 buy at 50 percent and sell at 50 percent discount so there are other schemes out there i think we will see shared ownership become a lot more prevalent um, again i'm not a huge fan of shared ownership um, but you've got to do something um, I think short term, uh, the the new build sector is going to be a big problem sector. And I would say if you can try to steer clear of new builds uh, from a residential perspective. Um, I just I just feel that, there, you know, if we do go for a recession and there's going to be properties going for sale, you know, those ex blocks with huge exposures of help to buy would be problematic. Um, it's different if you're going to sell a house down your down a road and you're one house or two house or three houses down a road what happens if there's 15 flats come up in a block for sale they all look the same they've all got the same kitchen same bathroom same tiling same roof same ceiling then you're just talking about price who's going to give it cheaper and that's my uh that's my thought on new builds i think uh, it's dangerous times uh, until we know the effects of help to buy and it's like a drug um, uh, how the the drawbacks from help to buy will affect the sector and remember the government's got some skin in the game so there may be some incentives out there to try to do something else around help to buy um, especially if there's going to be huge problems within the repayment sector um, but um, yeah so that, that be be what be worried about that be worried about the new build sector if you have got a property within that that sector um, just make sure you, you you know at the end of the day we're talking about short-term things and I'm talking about you know two years three years four years you know properties for a very very long time you know you could hold on to that property and you know the common sense says you know property prices have gone up we have still got shortages we have still got massive shortages and what this will do this squeeze on finances what it will do is those properties those developments are not going to be built as much so um, and what help to buy did do was cheapen newish properties out there because you know you had a flat which was five years old and you had a help to buy block that's built in next to you your flat 
would be about 400,000. And if I helped to buy, it was 450, but the government was giving them 40%, which flat would they come and buy? They'll come and buy the help to buy because they can get affordability. They'll get a loan from the government. They'll get a better loan to value on a deal or try to buy yours for 95% mortgage and get a worse deal. So it will balance itself out. But I think short term, it's a, it's a market that you've got to get a bloody good deal to get into. So yeah, don't, you know, don't discount it, but just, you know, make sure you're getting a very, very, very good deal. Okay. Don't be pushed in to buy those very, very overzealous salespeople. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.